Hey, hey, y'all. Skinny Jenny here coming to you today with a homemade guacamole and cheese chips video. So stay tuned. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started with our provolone cheese crisp or chips, however you would like to say it. I personally take the provolone cheese and cut it down the center, turn it around and cut it again. That gives me the illusion that I'm eating like some tortilla chips or something like that because they have the rounded edge but still have the kind of like triangular look. Place my parchment paper on my cookie sheet. I'm using not my real cookie sheet but a foil one that I've always had. Keep in mind that cheese melts and it will stick together so place them apart a little bit. All right, so we'll be baking these at 350. Once your oven has preheated to 350, go ahead and place your provolone chips inside. Set your timer for 12 minutes, but you can keep them in the oven until you get your desired brown look. OMG, so I went ahead and added some everything but the bagel seasoning. So for our guac, we're gonna use lime, tomato, avocado of course, red onion, everything bagel seasoning, and also some minced garlic. So what I like to do is start prepping my vegetables to go into my guacamole before actually cutting my avocado. So we're going to cut our onion first and that's how your onion should look. Then we're going to go ahead and take the inside of our tomato out and start chopping our tomato. A huge important thing is to have your lime so go ahead and cut your lime up and what's guacamole without some cilantro honey now for the main event our avocado you see how beautiful that avocado is take a spoon and go ahead and just pick that pit out of there Now, I personally, I use a whisk to mash my avocado up, but you can use a fork or an avocado masher or whatever that is. Make sure you keep it chunky though. My avocados are very ripe, so that was the consistency. Now I'm just gonna add in my tomato and onion that I prepped earlier. Gonna go ahead and add in my minced garlic. Add again my lime juice. Go ahead and put in my cilantro. At this point, you can add your seasonings. I added everything bagel seasoning. After all of your ingredients are in the bowl, you're gonna go ahead and mix your guacamole up to get its perfect consistency and voila doesn't that look beautiful omg looks so good i can't wait to taste it oh my god y'all it was so good thumbs up it was my first time making it but best to believe it won't be my last here's a picture of both and i want to say thank you so much for watching Mook got the keys jumping. stay down till i can do what i want sacrifice the light and best in my own Poverty, it didn't break me at all Hard times, it only made me stronger I fell down a lot as times got older But it only made me smarter Young, we waiting on his karma Bitch, woman, turn to a star